What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another episode of the First Owner RTG. Uh, we got a lot to get through today. Seems to be just the theme of the first 30 seconds of the intro. Is I say we have a lot to get through, but we do. It is rewards day today, so we've got our gold three amazing, amazing finishes. Uh, we did good this week, though, right? We went like 14 and two or 14 and three. So we got gold three rewards. Uh, the player picks, of course, for this amazing, 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 amazing team of the week. Uh, we've got Division Rivals Rank 1 rewards. We have uh, another set of... I just wanted to show off my stadium, by the way, to start the day. How aesthetically pleasing is that? Isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful, man. Anyways, um, we have tw crafted another 25... 25? Um, 81 plus packs. We have another set of League SBCs finished. And then we also have to talk about this Philip Lom because I didn't just rinse him into something yesterday. A lot of people stopped me from doing this. One of them being Zway, losing his mind, thinking, like, Zway, I'd give him to you, bro. I would. Trust me. I can't. So something's going to happen to him. Really unfortunate. It's most likely going to be that. Um, but anyways, we've got to deal with him. We've got all of the packs to open. I, I've got a bunch of stuff to show you guys with Kukurel. So I think with Philip Lom, just to touch on this real quick, spoiler alert for last episode if you missed it. Our pack luck of insanity continues, but continues once again into a duplicate untradeable. This is what, our third or fourth cracked dupe untradeable? We got what, Baby Rio twice now? Uh, uh, Mid Lom twice now? Oh, I'd, sometimes I wish my pack luck was maybe a little bit less good so I could just get some different players as opposed to another 1.3, 1.4 million coin, depending on the day, 1.5 million coin, Philip Lom, that we just got to get rid of somewhere. So what I think we'll do though, people pointed out, hey man, Potentially, Icon Swaps is this Friday. More importantly, um, I think Icon SBCs will be added. So what I'm going to do is discard him for now. I haven't done any discard recoveries. So I'm going to try and remember today being the 18th of February. I know you guys get this very early on the 19th of February. But hey, we do this grind throughout the entirety of the 18th, edit it up, and then release it early morning um, on the 19th. That's just how we do our stuff nowadays on the uh, First Owner RTG. But I think we're going to wait until Friday to see if we get icon swaps and, and, and all that crazy stuff. And then if we do, we'll put Philip Lom hopefully into one of those, which requires an icon. And if we don't, I'll put Philip Lom into whatever like is the most enticing SBC that we have to just put an 89 rated player into. So that's what we're going to do. So in terms of objectives, we just did the first uh, Fofana just to get him out of the way. Uh, so that we can start chipping away on the achievements we need for him. I think, very easily, I can sub him on at Striker in some games that we play. Or at Cam in some games we play. To try and get those assists and stuff. I think we need assists and wins with him in the next setup. So we'll we'll do... Imagine people that discard him by... Oh, I guess you can quick sell recover, I suppose. I was going to say, imagine you discard him by accident. So assist two goals and then win in three matches... Oh, he's got to be in the starting squad. Okay, so we throw him in the starting squad at center back and maybe just move him into cam. G get the assists as quick as possible and then immediately sub him out. I, I suppose we could even put them put him into the Cucurella team to do two things at once, right? I didn't do any of the Cucurella stuff yesterday, by the way, boys. I finished my day and didn't want to touch FIFA at all. In fact, I played Warzone by myself for a little bit while YouTube stuff was sorting out and it was an absolute pleasure. Uh, we got... Mr. Renier finally finished. This was hell on earth. I hated every minute of it. Uh, I just absolutely despise managerial masterpiece. I think once again for the 400th time in mid-February, five, six, seven, whatever months into the game that we're still being forced to use just gold 77 rated players is absolutely trash. And one thing we're kind of like uh, d developing and advancing on the thought process that I think EA should do at this point uh, is instead of putting people into a dead area where some people like it, but I don't, where I can't, you, like, the next objective, for example, this Fofana, I worked so hard to get this Rainier, I can't even use him in the 25 games I need to get Fofana. I can't even use this, well, I can technically use him in the Cucurella if I really wanted to, but, like, that's the thought process, is I'm gonna go sit there and get this Cucurella as well, and then I won't be able to use either one of them while unlocking and searching for Fofana. How absolutely ass backwards is that? To me, at least. Maybe not to you guys. I'm seeing to a lot of you guys, you seem to disagree with my thought process. I think that's the entire point of Ultimate Team, is you unlock these cool cards, and then you use them. 
the hell is the point of unlocking all of these to then go use a low rated squad to get the next player and then to go use a sweaty Varun Mbappe Neymar meta team in champs like why are you even putting time into this stuff is my thought process once again I'm aware that people disagree so the thought process to improve on that is why not just have all the options there I did say initially it would be really cool if they did um real quick here we'll get into the packs in a second why don't they do this for everything right um where it's just there's no limitation you just score the goals and stuff like that right why don't they do it throughout and then everybody said well the community are sweat so they would just go with their friends and get this done in 20 minutes and get all these players and completely defeat the purpose of it now my thought process once again is okay well if people want to cheat the system then whatever if they sit later on, uh, two days later, and say there's nothing to do in the game because they've all just played their friends and achieved all these cards in seconds, then they're the idiots. That's the initial thought process, but it does make sense. So if that is a problem, then why not just do assist four goals using 82 Future Stars Fafana in the live foot friendly managerial masterpiece or division rivals or professional squad battles or fought champions then you get down to maybe once you're down here maybe these ones here once again da -da 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 -da, assist whatever da -da -da, in managerial masterpiece or in rivals or in fought champs or in world class squad battles and then maybe like one of the final achievements you, you got to do it on legendary or something right because again the argument is well then the whole community it would it would ruin the entire idea of doing this stuff online because the whole community would just choose the the easiest route and would just go for the easy squad battle games but then again the argument once again is well, allow them if someone wants to burn their brain cells in easy squad battle games on professional to get fafana they still have to waste 15 minutes of their life times 25 instead of taking it into managerial masterpiece where maybe you get some rage quits or instead of taking it into fut champs or rivals where you can get rage quits and play against a real person please i i can't i really in my head cannot think of why they can't do that just give us the four options so that casuals that play offline can get this these cards and this fafana so that guys that are sweats and only want to play champs but might just like to have a, a chance of getting a fafana if they're good at the game they can they can try and assist some goals with the 84 fafana while they're battering nerds and champs and you know if people want to do it in rivals then let them do it in rivals and then once again these kids that try and tell me that playing with 77 rated squads evens the playing field and people are being exposed because they can't use god squads and managerial masterpiece and that's why it's a good thing when all people are doing is just using ultra meta 77 to, to 79 rated sweats like Traore. So there literally is no difference other than you're just using sweaty or lower rated players. But they can then go do it in managerial masterpiece. So I hope EA listens to that. I don't think that they will. But I really, really, in my eyes, would love just every part of the community being able to work towards these cards. The fact that the offline guys can't, the fact that the guys that just enjoy champs can't do this, the fact that the guys maybe only play rivals can't do near all of these things if they so choose, I just find it silly for the objective players. I understand that if you're playing rivals, well, yeah, you're not going to be able to get these foot champ extra rewards, right? That stuff, very similar. If you're playing squad battles... Or if you don't want to play squad battles, well, then you don't deserve the squad battle rewards. But these overall objectives, I think, truly should be um, more encompassing and inclusive of everybody that's trying to grind this game and however they want, in whatever capacity they want to grind this game. So, anyways, that, that's the end of that intro spiel. I think it is important to uh, have that discussion with, with you guys on a daily basis because... I, I do believe we are at the frontier of keeping this game good. I, I do I do believe that, very much so. And these conversations are what does push the, the game forward. Whether or not the other community that doesn't like me or Nep or whatever on Reddit, etc. Don't think that we're a, a, a force for good change in this game. Or whether EA choose to deny that content creators don't have a, a good insights on the game. It is what it is. I, I think these conversations are very important to have. So anyways... Um, that's it in terms of the updates. I mean, the team right now is the uh, Kukurel squad. So I think we're going to... I mean, this might be the team I take into champs, but we'll have to see how the uh, rewards go and what further players we can pack. I kind of want to fit Tapsoba instead of... Like, right here. Does that take one more person off Chem? 
And if it does, do we still get 100k? Yo, my God. As much as I love Carlos Alberto, the fact that we could fit Tapsoba in... Dude, he's so good. I've said this every single day since we packed him, but the fact that I can fit him into the setup now is so nuts. Yeah, like he's 8 chem, no big deal. 8, 8, 7. Oh my god, what a team for Weekend League, man. Absolutely nuts. Okay, so anyways, that'll be the team for Weekend League, but in terms, or until then, we're trying to do the Kakarel Rescue in Division Rivals. So this is what we're using currently. And I think I'm going to try and figure out a way to fit Fofana into the team. I guess we just go like... Bafana, maybe Adama, like, Traore at left back. And then just try and get the assists as, as quickly as possible. And then sub, maybe bring in Tapsoba. Maybe that, that, that's what we'll do. All right, let's go, uh, let's go get, or go look at, I suppose, what we've unlocked and what we've crafted. So, actually, I think it's going to make more sense if I do this. I'll show you guys this stuff first. Sorry, t I haven't had coffee today, so our coffee machine after 11 years broke that we got for our wedding. Um, so me, me and Steph are both like just in no man's land right now. We're just lost. Um, so anyways, we did the soot again. Soot is still dirt cheap to do other than the few golds you need to buy in the final high rated teams. Soot is very cheap though. I love it. Super easy to craft. Um, we kind of left the lib because the lib is getting expensive again. So we just went through just to have some filler, right? A lot of silver or not the best packs, but a really good way to fill up your club. First of all, make profit. But second of all, just fill up your club for uh, the main leagues. I do want to get back into the main leagues. Once the 81 plus picks are gone, we're going to get right back onto that league SBC grind where we finish like two league SBCs a day, if you will, or, or three league SBCs a day, like a Prem and a CSL one day. La Liga and, well, maybe not the Prem, but you know what I mean. La Liga and the Saudi League the next day, so on and so forth. So, um, I can't remember what the championship is for the final team, but that's fine. So, there we are. Um, I will refavorite the base or mid icon because I do think we'll be able to make at least one more today. Exactly 24 hours. So, this expires. No, it, do it doesn't, right? This does indeed expire at 6 p.m. tomorrow. For the new content hopefully icon swaps hopefully um icon moment sbcs icon sbcs like this section has been such a disgrace so stupid dude so stupid i i hate that they're not bringing out more icons man and when they do you know what when they do they'll bring us out three more bang average players and it'll be for the next two months and then Two months down the road, we might get one good player, but most likely it'll be another two or three bang average players. They don't want the community to craft the the, the cool icons. At, well, regularly, let's say. It's not to say that Kaka isn't a cool icon. He definitely is. So, let's get our rewards opened, get our packs ripped open. So, gold three. Could care less really about these rewards. I mean, what? Unless you get an Aubameyang, what does it matter? Right? I mean, I, I watched countless top 100 or top 200, sorry, players uh, opening their rewards and getting nothing. So, if you get something, great. If you don't, it's another uh, example as to why you don't put any effort into Weekend League, man. But two red player picks might mean we're close to the 86 plus pack. We might do the 86 plus pack to finish off the day today. All right. Now, the fun begins for me. Opening packs. Let's see where we are here. I'm going to pull up the uh, the stream alerts too. There we go. There we go. Yeah, let's let's have a bit of fun. And then we've got 6 p.m. content coming up. We've got Kukurel that we're going to grind. As always, we'll continue to, to spam packs, try and hit some fun stuff. I guess if we don't hit something fun, we got to do a baby to mid icon. Right? It's kind of how we've been doing it. Is Elche up in price? Not really. I mean, it's 850 coins. Uh, these dudes, I'm going to go ahead and discard. Oh. Uh... Did you do red picks? Are you, are you serious? Okay, I haven't had coffee, so I need to really chill. I need to not just lose my shit on every dumbass comment we see. Uh, so, you know, in terms of that Love question, I just, I opened red picks about 18 seconds ago. 
I understand that maybe he just clicked on the stream and missed it by half a second. Has Nick opened rewards yet? <laughs> you guys are so silly. <laughs> uh, exclusive Kid, Crikey, Joe, Kira, JP, Kevin. Much love. What keeps you motivated every day to do the same thing every day? To get up and do the same thing every day? Uh, money. It's keeping my family safe and secure and giving them a good life. Um, and because I truly do really enjoy what I do. You know, dealing with dumbasses and dealing with broken FIFA gameplay and whatever. It can be annoying sometimes, but I still absolutely love it. And I'm very, very grateful uh, for the position I'm in. So I, I get up every day and I'm blessed. <laughs> I do. Best of luck with packing a Saka or a fatty less than 3 PS. Have you opened rewards yet? I, 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 I have. Yes, Alfie. <laughs> Jam, thank you for the 22. I really appreciate the question as well. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> um, now, this guy was, what, like 4K yesterday? Damn, he's still a nice price. Nick, enjoy listening to the stream as a podcast during lectures and readings for uni. Hey, J Bao, I love you, bro. Thank you for the four. But I feel like you should probably be listening to the lectures as opposed to... My stupid ass. What? Hey, you do you, man. Are you gonna play- Is this Warzone? This is Warzone for your brain cells. When you're playing FIFA, basically. Nah, lectures are boring. Boys, what are we doing here? <laughs> so why are you in uni if it's- uh, Anyways. I don't know if I want to go down that rabbit hole today. <laughs> Hog 27 months. Love this community and 28 love. Matt, thank you for the 27, bro. Today is Lil Ajax. Yep, we're going to be doing a live watch along as well. As much as I hey, Nick, I really should love Ajax, now? and I do. Hey Nick, why don't you go play Rivals? Hey Nick, have you opened rewards yet? Hey Nick, what is better, toenails or fingernails? Neither. Fucking, I guess fingernails. Toes, feet are fucking disgusting. Oh. Oh, do we do a little bit of No Man Left Behind for the intro? Oh, ho, ho. I should probably have checked how much that guy is. I honestly, I'm pretty confident that guy's like 800 coins. Hold on. I think it's, he's like 800 coins. Wow, uncanny. Nah, we move. I, I, dude, means, I, I, as much as I'm down for No Man Left Behind, I probably have like four Benevetto players. I don't want to spend the next five minutes buying out Benevetto. I want to spend the next five minutes ripping packs. Yeah, I, I, I find feet gross. I, I, I won't dismiss the idea that some people have great pretty feet. Steph's got pretty feet, but I still find feet disgusting. You know? Like if someone, if a chick I was with asked me to suck their toes, I would be naked sprinting out of their room. Down the hallway, butt naked, just in my car, driving down the road before she could even finish her sentence. But that's just me. Just feed her gross. Ugh. If we're talking butts and the JJ, I'm swan diving in there. Feet though, get the hell out of my face, man. Get that crusty ass, nasty ass shit out of here. That sweaty ass. After a shower? Don't even care. Even, I, no, I mean, okay, after a shower is, no, nah, I don't, no. Nope. Mm -mm. Not interested. 83 times 25 today, or are we keeping packs until next promo? Oh, wait, <laughs> you still got that damn pack? Bro, I mean, I feel like I'd probably bop it today, man. <laughs> Holy, and you guys think I take forever opening packs. Man has a pack from like two months ago still. <sighs> man said swan dive? Dude, I'm doing like a front flip into the butt. The JJ region. But, come on, feet? Marination King. I don't know why I checked his price when he's untradeable. 
Um, we doing? Are we doing no man's? Boys, are we doing no man's? Do we end the intro there and just get into the no man's and just leave YouTube so YouTube doesn't have to listen to these stupid combos? Uh, I'm gonna call it there, YouTube, in terms of the live portion. I know there's not been anything exciting to see, but that's life. You have the rest of the day and it'll be edited into this episode, all the good pack pulls, all right? We're gonna continue live on stream talking about dicks and butts and vaginas. Unfortunately, YouTube demonetizes all these conversations. I don't know why. Why doesn't like Coca-Cola wanna be on a video that where it talks about butts and vaginas? Like what's wrong with that? People that like butts and vaginas still wanna drink a Coca-Cola? Weird. Anyways. Ooh, walk out though from Omega. That's not bad, bro. Another boost gets. Hey, I'll take it. Megas are paying out. Bro, what is today's pack luck? Primes and Mega Packs that we have crafted are paying out. Prime and Mega Packs never pay out. Maybe it's because we got the leads kit back on, boys. That could be why. I can't even say boost gets looks good in a leads kit, dude. Let's be real. But yeah, so I, I, I'm thinking we craft the 81 plus buzzer beater packs. Oh, and he's tradable. It's beautiful. Things you love to see. I'm actually gonna, I think I'm gonna hold them. Do I hold them? Hmm. Or do I, do I sell them for coins? So we then have coins to use to just craft even more. He's like 35k, man. Wow. I'm gonna sell. I am gonna sell. I didn't even, I honestly didn't even realize he was a dupe. Kind of wild. So you're telling me they've slipped them into packs already. I can't wait. Can we go see some of these pictures, boys? So the one that we all, well, that we all know I want. Oh, wait. Are you lying to me, boys? Isn't that his prime? Damn, what, a, what an absolute disgrace from the FIFA community that he's only seven mil. Squad. Oh, okay. We got to back out and do the squad update. Okay. Okay. Oh, ho, ho! oh my God. I'm so, I'm such a loser, dude. I'm so excited. I, unfortunately I did see a leak of Johan Cruyff's pick. I kind of hope it isn't real. Cause it's not great. There's so many good pictures, man, of kissing trophies and stuff like that. Oh, I can't wait to see. Is there a sneak peek too? No. I can't believe we got Tab Soba and Jonathan David, bro. And Newhouse. I mean, I wouldn't like I wouldn't mind a cheeky Saka to finish off the future stars. But anyways, okay. So um transfers. We'll go Cruyff again. So what is he? 96 again? 95. See what I mean? You see what I mean? Eh. Wait, can I check in concepts? Oh god, can we actually see their stats? Hold on a second. Does he pop up in con? I don't think so, right? Usually it doesn't work this way. Maybe. Oh, no. It doesn't. I mean, you can still see the, the dynamic image, but they don't pop up in concepts, unfortunately. Okay, let's check uh, R9. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh! oh, I love it. I'm Dude, dynamic images, we're all such losers, dude. We all love these so much. 95 for Johan Cruyff, by the way. Can I just touch on this? This goes to show that EA, and I'm sorry EA for saying this again. I know you hate me and I'm I'm rude sometimes, but you guys are fucking clueless. The fact that Eusebio and Cruyff aren't up there in the 98, 99 ratings as well, just goes to show how little either you know about football or you care about getting to know about the history of football. Like this guy's prime or moments card should be a 97, 98, 99. That's just period. In my opinion. I mean, let's go, let's go get even more mad. I'm sure they've got Eusebio as a, as a 94. Are you guys okay? Eusebio's a 94. Have they just nerfed, instead of upgrading Cruyff and Eusebio beyond what they should have been last year, they've not only not done that, they've made them lower. 
94 rated Eusebio is a joke. However, his dynamic image is awesome. What's Eto's? Uh, so Eto's a 93. I love his dynamic image. Eto's 93 is amazing. Um, I heard a few. So Pirlo's pick is fire. He may be clueless with Juventus managing them, but yeah, that, that picture is fire. Um, the... Oh, what about Georgie Best? What's his dynamic? 94... I mean, I think George Best should be higher rated too. But yeah, the 90... I mean, George, that's so awesome. That George Best dynamic is amazing. Um, what about Ronaldinho? What about the boy? 95 rated Dino. Like, with all due respect... I love Ronaldinho. Like, I really... He's one of my favorite players of all time. The same rating as Johan Cruyff. Anyways, really good dynamic. I like that a lot. What a great dynamic for Dino. The, that's, that's, that's sick. That's sick. Let's, let's ignore the ratings because I'm just going to get more and more pissed off. And let's uh, just enjoy the, the pictures. Yeah, Bastian Schweinsteiger's picture. This is the trophy kiss right here. What does Marco van Basten look like? I like that he's, that he's back in the game. But anyways, Bastian. Here we go. 92. Look at that. Isn't that probably the best dynamic image you might ever see? Kissing a World Cup as your dynamic image? I feel like any player that has a picture of that, EA should have focused on. No? Come on. Surely anybody that's won a World Cup, or like if they haven't but have won a Ballon d'Or, that should be the focus. Their dynamic should be either holding a Ballon d'Or or holding a world or kissing or holding a World Cup. Right? Don't you guys think? Um, so let's check like Inzaghi. <laughs> yeah, so Bobby Moore is another amazing one. Look at this. Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that I mean, dude, I love the trophy kisses. It goes back to like one of my favorite dynamic images of all time was Virgil van Dijk's dynamic image that they released for his road to the final card after they won the Champions League. One of the best one ever. Uh, Ian, right? <laughs> oh my God, I love that. That is amazing. Oh, dude, that's so awesome. What? Okay, hold on. What about like a Maldini? What do they do for a Maldini? Okay, that's not that's not that great. Hello. Oh, look at you. Which one? Which one is which? Coffee delivery. Coffee delivery. Coffee delivery. That's such a big coffee. <laughs> it's the size of my fucking head. Thank you, babe. Let's go. Cheeky little McDonald's ad. Nothing in it, boys. Check this out. Yeah. This is, this is how we're trying to drink our coffee nowadays. Look at that. That's it. Simple, black, beautiful, love it. You get all the taste, none of the stupid sugar, as much as I really want sugar. I want, you don't understand. I really do enjoy coffee a lot, even black, but there's nothing I want more than pouring in some creamer into it, mixing it around, like maybe like a mint chocolate creamer in there. Ah, anyways. Inject that right, right in my temple. Oh, let's 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 check Diego Armando. Yes, yes, yes. Give me that. Na I love it. I love it. Oh, that's so. I think that's his Napoli days too, right? I don't think that's that's definitely not an Argentina kit. That's definitely a Napoli kit. That's cool. I like that a lot. Pele. I mean, that is awesome. Like, if you're gonna make Pele 99 rated, come on, EA. Torres? Sure, I can check Torres. That's his Liverpool days, though. Liverpool fans will be happy about that. That's definitely Liverpool, Torres. Oh, Eric Cantona. Yeah, let's check that out. King Eric. That is the coolest... It pains me that's a Man United kit, but, I mean, obviously it's going to be a Man United kit. That is so awesome. Now, you know what would be awesome? Is if EA coded that every kit he wore, if it had a collar, was a popped collar. Little things like that. Wouldn't that be nuts? Imagine any kit that he wore that had a collar, he popped it. 
So sick. Oh, what about Rude Hullet? What about uh, uh, the man that has photos of Renato Sanchez on his wall? Oh, that's so sick. The, the Milan days. I love that. That's awesome, too. Big fan of that. Big fan of that. Thierry Henry. I just wish they made Henry as good as he should be. That's amazing. That's so awesome. I kind of love that they knew they do new dynamic images every year for the icons. That's amazing. How about Rio? What about Rio? Where is he? Ah, uh, it's the L, boys. I kind of wanted. I kind of missed the Rio with the like the cornrows. Cornrow Rio is the best Rio for me. In terms of that's the L. I'll, I'll be happy with my baby. I won't even chase the, the better Rio. I'll stick with my Leeds United baby Rio. Um, oh, Pushkas. Yeah, what, what, what would they have given to him? 95? It's kind of cool. I don't mind that. He looks exactly like my Opa. It's unreal. David Beckham? It's gotta be. It's gotta be. I almost, I almost know what this is gonna be. Surely. It's going to be an international game. Oh, maybe not. I was thinking the free kick, like the Greece stuff days. Is that Man United? Oh, I guess I was wrong. It is the shaved head. Is that the free kick? Yeah, that's... Oh, damn. Okay, no, it is. Sorry. The, the, I don't remember it being a black collar, the, the England kit. I remember where I was sitting watching him score that. Um... Stoikov. Kind of cool. Dude, the funniest meme is the video of Johan Cruyff trying to teach Stoikov how to do um, uh, skipping rope. Johan Cruyff in his like 50s, 60s is just like, bro, what the fuck? And he just does it insanely. The greatness of Johan Cruyff, man. Uh, oh, Papa Puyol? Check him out. Man, I'm sorry. I think they 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 dishonor Puyol too. I really do. I'm not a fan of of uh, of of how they rate Puyol at all. I really, 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 really am not a fan. What about Zizou? Oh, that is wild. I love that. I love that a lot. Oh, what about DDA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about DDA? 92. Love it. I fucking I I love Drogba, man. I love everybody, dude. Shut up. Litmanen has a sick image. If he doesn't, I'm timing you out. Okay. That's a pretty cool image. I like that a lot, actually. It's for Ajax, right? Chavi! Yeah. What is he looking like? 94 Chavi? That's cool. That's definitely in his heyday. I like that. Frank Lampard? I don't really care. Sorry. But anyways. The amount of spamming. Eh. Sure. Cool. Overmars? That's all right. Ronald Coleman. Last year's image for Ron. We packed this guy last year. That's dead. It's not that great at all. I packed his moments last year, though. Sadorf. Oh, what about Clarence Carter? Dude, Clarence Sadorf has had so many GOAT-level images and, like, looks through the years. That's kind of an L. Yeah, we already looked at Zidane. Bergkamp. Dennis the Menace. Eh, it's all right. Cannavaro. Ooh, Cannavaro's a great show. Isn't that nuts that that looks like Alessandro Del Piero with a shaved head? Is that Del Piero? That literally looks like a shaved... That's Del Piero. That is not Cannavaro. Dude. I'm pretty sure they put Del Piero for Cannavaro. <laughs> Yo, I, I, I'm I sorry to do this. I'm sorry to do this, but I mean, you kind of have to. Loving the new dynamic images added into Fight 21. Uh, but 
Isn't this Del Piero? Or am I tripping? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Dude, I'm pretty sure that's Del Piero. What are they doing? Oh, EA Sports. Let's go see what Del Piero's image is. Dude, that is Del Piero with a shaved fucking head. I'm sorry. It is. It has to be. It has to be. Dope image for Del Piero, though. I like that. Um, Bobby Baggio? It's got to have the rat tail, right? Oh, well, the mullet. It's close enough. Pretty cool. CVG. Kissing the camera, imagine. That'd be sick. Uh, pretty average. It's not great. SCN? Uh, we didn't look at SCN, that's for sure. I like that a lot. Ricardo Kaká? That's cool. Eh, that's Milan days. That's Ballon d'Or days, isn't it? I think so. Lam. Good shout. Is there any other trophy kisses, boys? It's kind of... I mean, again, that's... I the, the the moment is sick, but Akocha, JJ Akocha. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. That's really cool. Bobby Moore, we've already looked at. Yep. Yashin? I didn't look at Yashin. That's awesome. Watch him not have a hat in the actual game, but anyways, that's awesome. Patty cakes? And I'm not talking about Patrick Bamford this time. That's awesome. I love that. That's back in the day where they used to put Vicks Vapor Rub, right? On the chest. Divorce Suker. Hey, he's biting a metal. That's sick. See, that's the type of stuff I wanted to kind of see, right? The absolute peak of their moments. Holding a Ballon d'Or, biting a medal, kissing a World Cup, kissing a Champions League trophy, kissing a European trophy, stuff like that. Vidic? Yeah, I didn't look at Vidic, actually. Or Rivaldo. Rivaldo's cool. Um, wait, what? Why would I search? Anyways. Vidic is a cool one. I like that. Keen? I kind of forgot about Keen, honestly. Oh, King Kenny! Oh, that's sick. I like the Kenny picture. Um... That's also amazing. Isn't that from the time where he shit-talked? I think this is for Ireland, right? Isn't this when he shit-talked, what's his name, like Mick McCarthy? Anyways, we've been looking at this all live now. It's 6 p.m. content. Let's go check stuff out. Bro, I love that the dynamic images are there. That's awesome. Well, that's a, yeah, that's a hell of a, hell of a bit of live content for you guys, man. They just snuck in the dynamic. So we're absolutely getting icon swaps. Um... Let's see for 6 p.m. content. So we're going to get marquee matchups. Did we get a Neymar? Five star, four star is kind of fire though. Hey, I'm not going to lie. I might craft this guy just in case we want to put together an Algerian squad. Seriously. Like to me, I know you guys are going to get mad. And I'm mad that we didn't get a Neymar to craft, but I like the idea of just doing this guy. Why not? It is very dead. I would agree with that, but I'm assuming it's also going to be uh, low rated, right? 80, yeah, I mean, hey, it's dead, but I'm doing it. I still think that's pretty cool. I'm down. Future stars. Oh, they brought the party bag out again. Well, we're doing a party bag at the end of the epi, boys. Let's go. Future Stars Challenge, Future Stars Party Bag, Marquee Matchups. Oh, you know we're doing it. What's the Party Bag price at this time? Is it still have the crappy one to watches? Oh my god, it's the exact same, bro. Okay, whatever. We'll do it. We're doing the Party Bag for the end of the epi, boys. We've already had a couple of amazing pack pulls today that I'm very happy about. Well, amazing maybe is a bit of a stretch, but nevertheless... Um, we've had pack pulls that I'm pretty hyped about. Do we have a dupe untradeable that I haven't dealt with yet? Oh, nice. Okay. So, 
with the 6 p.m content uh, i'll show you guys the marquee matchups but i'm just gonna rip like fun packs so that was the plan here because you guys at the start of the epi didn't really get any dope packs is there anything else that we missed i mean how does that dude in terms of popularity unless ea are skewing the votes because they don't want neymar to get a player of the month realistically for out of, is it not a popularity contest the player of the month or am i thinking of something else just says fs pack wait is it actually just a straight up future future stars party bag oh no that's a huge win oh you know every content creator on earth right now is just getting is going to be opening 500 of these from their viewers that's huge man wait did it say it last time it said no but it says future stars party bag the last time i'm pretty sure it said one to watch is it's the same this is false advertising though no in the description didn't it say one to watch and everything else last time it said all the names boys i'm pretty sure I don't think it's the same. I, I think you guys got that wrong. I, I I genuinely believe it's just future stars. Maybe from the first, maybe from both teams. And for sure, I'm going to get a dupe. There's no way I get something new. But that's fine. Um, That's amazing. So in terms of marquee matchups, we've got PSV Vitesse for Premium Electrum. That's actually not bad. Uh, We got Schalke Beva Bay for a Jumbo Premium Gold. We got West Ham Spurs. Damn, man. There's so much football to watch this weekend uh for a rare mixed and then we got an 80 rated psg monaco set up for a 25k pack and then what's the it's a mega prime gold okay hey we got i mean we got two just good walkouts from the primes today cool did i miss anything else i mean there's no way we get new objectives we got fafana yesterday for god's sakes and silver stars and silver beast so no they they, they knocked it out of the park outside of the dead managerial masterpiece they have knocked the objectives out of the park I'm not saying that they haven't. Anyways, um, so let's let's do a session of these 81 pluses. Let's see if we can get something good. I wonder what they put into the uh, devil's butthole section. So for those of you guys that are opening them, please let me know. Are, are you getting uh, future stars? It's false advertising? Someone just got a HL Ings. Wait, so it's straight up false advertising. Future Stars price is going to plummet. Well, no, it seems like people are getting crap cards in them. You'll probably be able to get some sort of uh, compensation from EA because that is very much false advertising, boys. Oh! What on earth? Cheeky little uh, 86 Yordi. Thank you very much, 81 pluses. The description is scuffed. It's not even centered correctly. Yeah, but that's an EA issue. If they're having teams putting in 84 rated squads with two informs, telling them it's a future stars pack, and then they give crappy one to watches, that is horrendous false advertising. Like, that is, you could bring that down to EA scamming you of real-world money. Think of the actual cost of putting together 200k's worth of coins worth of players. If you bring that down to FIFA points, that is hundreds of dollars of FIFA points to be scammed out of even getting a future star? That's bad, man. I mean, they're the ones that have it advertised like that. That is, that is really bad. I mean, at least last time in the description, it had headliners, one to watches. So even though the title and the bag, it's, the bag itself is still a scam because they called it a future stars party bag. Um, so even though that is a bit of a scam, the description kind of let EA off the hook. Now, this is purely a scam. That, I'm sorry, that is a scam. I mean, I'm going to complete this right now with the understanding and the expectation of getting a future stars out of the pack period that's it that is a full-on scam description I, I, am i am i wrong in saying that 
Please. I mean, call me on my bullshit. It, is that not a scam? My, I mean, my PC is crashing, so something crazy is going on. Description says future stars party bag. And I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of EA doing that shit, man. Damn. I don't really have a lot of, uh, got a lot of 83s though. So I think what we might end up doing is we'll go like just La Liga. Full 83 La Liga setup and then bring up the rating a bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. So let's go strikers. I mean, I don't know if I want to use a Suarez per se, but maybe. Um... Also don't know if I want to use a Modric, but maybe. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but when you... That is still a scam, boys. When you complete it, if in the store it says then it's a one-to-watch pack, you've already put in 200k's worth of items. I'm sorry, man. That is horrendous. And you cannot change my mind about that. I'm not looking for a problem here, but that that is truly an issue. That is, that's absurd. Um, might be time for Carrasco to go, honestly. It's like ordering a burger and being served a hot dog. No, brother. It, dude, the cost of this SBC, it's like ordering Kobe beef and being served mac and cheese with a Kobe beef logo on it. Like, that is what EA are doing here to their consumer base. And if you don't think that, I don't think you understand how shit works. But EA, I mean, man, EA are legit shameless. And that's just so crazy to me, man. Um... Kind of, kind of hoping for something there, but. I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm really not a fan of, of what they're doing here. Everybody will ignore it though. Like that's the thing, right? Most people in our community will just purely ignore it. Pretend it's not even a thing. Um, and that's kind of what I, what I, what I genuinely hate the most. Is that they just, they basically EA never get called out on the bullshit they do. Ever. Because everybody's too scared, man. Oh wait, I need another team of the week, bro. How brain dead am I? Um, maybe a GK in there? Merit, maybe even? Gonna lose some chem, but... Oh! Oh, it's only 75! Haha! <laughs> Amazing! Thanks, EA! Ugh. All right. Well, because we are hypocrites here, at Nick 28 Industries. Let's do the Future Stars Party Bag. That is not an actual Future Stars Party Bag. Fail to nothing? Well, we got this done, boys, I suppose. Right? Yeah, I have no shame.
Yeah, EA have no shame is a is a great a great statement, man. I'm not a fan. I am not a fan of them sneaking a uh, a bunch of shit players into a party bag that they claim is a future stars. I know I'm harping on and on about it, but look at I mean, look at the laziness here. Look at the card. I know you might not be able to see it on YouTube. Look at the card for God's sakes. Who is running this company right now? It's just a generic card and a weak ass little crap cutout of it. Do you guys see that? What are they doing right now? Have they made too much money where they're like, okay, now we're working on FIFA 22. We'll leave one brain dead pleb to deal with all the content that we got to push out. Again, it's little things. I, I, I get it. But for a billion dollar company, man, seems weird. It just seems weird. Did I miss something? Why did I get Record Breaker Oscar out of the Future Stars party bag? Bullcrap. Hey, Batch. It is indeed bullcrap, With everyone dude. asking for compensation, I feel like EA will come out and say, but look at all these people that got Future Stars in the party bag. No misdirection. N28 chins. Um... It's just, it's just bad for me, eh? That's all. It just has to be like a party bag. And then the description gives you the one to watch and whatever. The fact that it's Future Stars party bag and then the description is Future Stars party bag is fucking disgusting. Period. You can't deny that. It's just annoying. It's annoying that the company that we love putting so much effort and so much grind into just doesn't give a fuck. Just call it party bag and let us know in the description, man. Like, why you gotta sit there and fucking scam people? It's so weird. Uh, dude, I'm fucked up over Johan Cruyff only being 95 rated. Fuck, man. That, 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 and Eusebio being even lower rated is such a dis, dis, disgrace to their legacies, in my opinion. Wasn't he 96 last year? He should be 98. Him and Eusebio should both be 98. You want to put up a stink about them being 99? Fine. But they should be at least 98. To me, there's no discussion. And if you disagree, just do your research. Please. Please do your research. Because I feel like if you disagree, you're probably me 10 years ago. Because I just d wasn't educated on Eusebio and Johan Cruyff. At all. Yeah, I agree, T. Shaber. Same thing like Johan Cruyff. Am I a bit biased? Maybe you can say that, but I, I don't think I'm wrong. 85, baby. Get! Sly, thank you. I didn't really see if this was a walkout or anything. Oh, cheeky little walkout. 81 plus is paying out. Okay. I apologize for going on and on and on about Eusebio and Cruyff, but it really does grind my gears, man. Make them 98, CA. You want Pele? I mean, Maradona Pele in the 99s, fine, but Eusebio and Cruyff at least should be 98. It's making me sad. The more I think about it, the more sad I am. Is that a new haircut that's coded on to De Gea too? And he also doesn't even look good in a Leeds kit. Yikes. UCL Man United, isn't that fucking hilarious too? Like, why is this card still in packs? There, anyways, whatever, dude. I gotta walk out. That's all that matters. Let's not be too negative with everything. Jeez, jeez. Rule breaker Lorente is kind of good. Happy. Oh, and Owen. Oh my God, yeah. Get out of here, Liverpool fans. You guys got so many good players. All right, we got another walkout. Give us a craftable Eric Cantona, please. Oh my god, another duplicate Busquets, bro. What am I meant to do with this now? I legitimately have no idea what to do with this. 
Oh god. Do we craft another baby to mid icon? Or double dupe! I don't know what to do. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I really wanted to wait to see what they do tomorrow, man. I feel like we're going to get so many icons and stuff. What do I do? Do we discard Busquets and now we've got Lam and Busquets that we can quick sell recover for tomorrow? Code of Warzone. It's a pretty good idea, actually. I miss playing Warzone. We played too much pro clubs yesterday. I wasn't able to, uh, um, I wasn't able to even play Warzone. We've already done the party bag. Okay, let me go. I, I think I'm just going to go put Sewell in another 81 plus pick, man. Another walkout. Please just don't be a dupe. Oh my God. I don't have any room for discards. Nice. Bobby. Oh, even better. 89 rated, I believe. Let's go, man. Yo, I would love, even though I'm annoyed by the, the, the party bag crap, I wouldn't mind at all getting this guy's, uh, uh, what is it? Scream card? No. What is it called? Freeze card. His center back card is such a cool, high, low, like 80 pace, such a Much sick card. No Thank you, Halar. I'll take that, man. That's a great pull. Yeah, his freeze card. I would not be upset about packing him. Or a freeze Dembele? Most likely going to get a one to watch Jonathan David from my pack, but there are some still some cool cards. I just wish EA would more, were more open about advertising it. Two nothing for Man United. So it's not LLMU today, boys? Damn it, dude. Oh, well. Shit happens, I guess. OTW party from the party bag. My newly packed RTTF port 2 is now pointless. So sorry to hear that, dude. That sucks. Found their level. Yes! Come on! No dupe! Who's that? No, bro. I mean, the good news is it's another $50 to the BC Cancer Foundation. Bro, look at where we're at right now. Oh my God, dude. I got to zoom in here for a second. Sorry, um, Rubes. Look at where we're at, bro. The future stars are coming thick and fast. What am I doing with him now as a dupe, bro? Oh, we're up to, I think that takes us up to $850 or $800 raised uh, for cancer research from this event, boys. That's how much I owe right now. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, so many future stars. Why is it always a dupe? Why? Sorry for flashbanging you guys. I do apologize. Diogo Dalit. I don't know what to do with him. I'm lost. Is that another disc? The one we have is tradable! Let's go! Is he worth anything? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> That's so many emotions. <laughs> Yo, I'll take it though. I'll take it. Oh, what a W, dude. Hey, 35k towards whatever else we want to craft for tomorrow. 30k is 30k. Oh, that's a small victory, boys. I'll take that. Better than discarding him and having to deal with him tomorrow. Hell yeah. Oh, nice. 84, just like cheeky little Dinier. Walk out again. Let's go, baby. These 81 pluses, please no dupe. Oh, no. Fuck six. I, I moved Modric out of the squad we built because I'm like, I'm not going to pack Modric again. Bro, no. This is not ideal at all. Oh, my God. I might have to discard Modric too. Why am I getting so many damn walkouts that are dupes? I'm pretty sure this is a dupe, isn't it? Please don't be a dupe. Yes! Oh, we did use them. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus Christo. 
We're good. Walk out fact. EA help responded uh, under one of your tweets. What do you mean? I thought I was going to get a guaranteed future star. Oh wait, wow! EA help did respond. Uh, you know my tweet calling out the bullshit. Advertised future stars party bag. Description says future stars party bag. No mention of anything else at a cost of 200k, and yet EA include one to watches in this shit. See, like I took the picture, or whatever, and then I asked people to reply with their issues. I thought I was going to get a guaranteed future star, but I got a once to watch. Can I have a refund? Hey there, there's not a guaranteed future star player from that pack. From what I'm seeing, you can get an OTW rule breakers. I hope this helps. Um, we appreciate the reply. Thank you so much. But... Nowhere in the SBC or SBC completion does it describe what you mentioned. Have a look at the picture I linked. It only shows um, future star party bag. We might actually get we might actually get somewhere with this boys fingers crossed I wouldn't consider it false advertising just scummy uh Luke Yates I know you like being a twat and just arguing with everyone because you think you're some lawyer congratulations if you are or you're starting to be one but please fuck off thank you I just, I'm really not a fan of people that just sit there and try and fucking argue for the sake of arguing. Like, all right, we get it, man. You're studying to be a lawyer and according to the law and all the fucking written descriptions, it's not false advertising. I'm not sitting there saying it's pure false advertising by the definition of false advertising. But is it scammy? Is it misleading the audience? Is it fucking the audience out of hard earned coins, which they may have spent their Sunday money on FIFA points to get? Yes, on all occasions. If you want to sit there and argue with me about the definition, it's not mislead or it's not false advertising. I never even fully stated it's full false advertising by the definition of your fucking law books, but it absolutely is scum. Period. Fuck off. My God. Great, by the way. I love my pack luck right now, but I'm running out of space. Is that another discard? So we've got Busquets, Terstegen, and mid -Lom right now in the discard pile, boys. Do we discard? I, are you sure I have five, right, dudes? I've got five. Five uh, discard things. Another walkout. Oh my god, this is getting ridiculous. There we go, though. Lewandowski! First time this year we've packed him. Holy crap, let's go. 91 rated, dude. Never during, never gonna happen during Team of the Year. That's fine though. Whoa! Another high-rated player. Come on, please give us like a Hullet, a Cruyff, a Eusebio, an R9, something from Icons to craft like crazy. Please, EA. A Cantona even. I'd love that. A high-end version of Maldini even. Looks good in the leads kit. Yes, sir. He does. He does. I love that. How much is this card nowadays? Like 50k? Well, no, it can't be 50k, right? Because of the rating. 70k. W. That's big time fodder. He would kind of get into our Bundesliga team, you know? I mean, we did just unlock Rainier, so maybe not, but... I always get Chesney when I see Poland. I usually do, too. 
a moment's Eusebio. They're not going to let us craft a moment's Eusebio. That's too nuts. Um, all right. I've got a good chunk of these left, boys. Another walkout! Oh, it's going to be a fake one. The likelihood this won't be a dupe, though. I don't even know who... Uh, uh, Paul Pogba! <laughs> oh my! Love that! Thank you! Huh? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Alright, I'll take a Paul. Fake real walkout? Yeah. Again, no idea how much actually Paul Pogba is. Uh, he's like 40k. Alright, so it's not gone are the days where he's like 100 or 200k, but... Still... Love that. Yeah, all these big packs are going to save for the moment's icons. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Boards? It was a... LM. Wait, isn't he... Oh, that was last week! Hey, oh, man. Oh, I'm such a moron. Hello, Nicholas. God for Dom. Hot for Dom, you mean? Fraud omnit vor ix te supporten. Much love from your family in Holland. Hey, dude. N28 love. Don't tell them I'm rooting for Lille, man. Okay, here we go. Last few, boys. Oh, we might have to open one of these bigger packs to get through the icons. Another board. That's another dupe, man. Fuck, I have no idea what to do with this shit. Oh. The outro! Hand rub. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another outro of the video of the day. It's actually not been a long grind today, boys. Uh, we've been going for probably four or five hours within the epi. It's been a nuts day in terms of walkouts and stuff. I'm just in a weird mental headspace right now, and I, I don't want to play any gameplay because I know it's going to put me on full tilt, or at least I'm not going to play Rivals gameplay. So I'm sorry, YouTube, you're not going to see, or you haven't seen any gameplay today. Tomorrow is Fut Champ, so we'll probably get one to five games in at the start of the day before we get the icon swaps and hopefully icon moments and all of that good stuff. Um, this is probably going to be the end of my Future Stars journey here. So we've got a good chunk of packs to open for the outro. We're going to do them live. We'll deal with the duplicates live. So we've got one, two, three, four primes that I want to open. Or basically as many as I need to open so that we can see the party bag. Okay, so we're basically going to open packs, big packs, as much as I wanted to save them for tomorrow's icon moments. Uh, we're going to open big packs until we see... The party bags and the 85 pluses. We are going to open those 85 pluses that have been hiding in the account for God knows how long, like a month and a half. So thank you so much for watching the episode again. Apologies that uh, it's only packs and a few life topics and stuff like that, I'm sure, are in there. But uh, it's just one of those days. Uh, with, with Weekend League looming and uh, all that other stuff we got going on, I'm just not too excited about having to deal with, uh, uh, with gameplay. At least that's going to be on YouTube. Maybe... If the Band of Bros aren't playing pro clubs yet, maybe they are. If they are playing pro, cl pro clubs, I'm going to just leave FUT for the rest of the day. We're playing pro clubs professionally as of Monday forward. Me, Nep, and, um, and the Band of Bros, a lot of the boys are going to be taking on VPG. So I don't know if you guys... Let me know in the comment section to finish off this epi today. Would you want me and Armalika to put our like professional pro clubs games... It's going to be super stressful. We're probably all going to be yelling at each other and being super toxic, let's be real, because competitive gameplay just does that to you. Let me know if you guys want that, uh, maybe as like standalone videos, like Pro Club's game journey number one, right? And then we, we, I don't think it'll be very edited, but we'll just have like the start of it, figuring things out, our first game, whether it's in an entirety or whatever. And then I think you play two games a day in VPG. So maybe like for, uh, similarly for people that miss the streams, that there will be late night games and stuff like that. So maybe for people that miss the streams, they can catch up on the pro clubs or the VPG pro clubs that we do with the Band of Bros. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys want that. It'll be like an extra upload, nothing too serious, nothing too crazy, just to give you guys that extra little bit of, uh, of content if you necessarily want it. Uh, so in terms of the team, there we go. I knew he was tradable. Packed him from one of those uh, tradable league SBCs today. 
Uh, save him. Discard that for the end of the day. We'll go double check and see where we stand in terms of... We got two more primes. Got the mega as well. All right. So, first... So, I think we got two of these and then it'll be the party bag. Okay, boys? To finish off the day. 285 pluses. I'm not expecting anything. These I've seen were amazing for some. It's going to be a dupe, isn't it? Please don't be a dupe. It's a dupe, Mbappe! Oh, thank you! I'm actually so happy about that. I already have another untradeable Mbappe. I'll take a Griezmann. Some of you guys would have been really upset about that, thinking you're going to get an Mbappe and then you get Griezmann, but I'll take that. I do not know what I would have done with another a double dupe Mbappe, man. Good lord. Let's go. Okay. Can we get two walkouts in one? <laughs> Dude. I mean, I, again, fully aware that these players aren't crazy expensive, but... The first time I've been grateful to think I'm getting Mbappe, but get Griezmann. How wild is that? When you run a first owner account, man, your priorities just get, get real crazy, dude. <laughs> they get real crazy. All right, second 85 plus pick. I can't remember where these are from. I think it was during team of the year or 85 plus pack. Let's go. We're finishing with another. No, another dupe. Oh. Come on! It's another $50 to the BC Cancer Foundation. That's still a W at the end of the day. Oh! Jesus, man. Come on! How many times am I getting dupes? I think we've hit Dalit like eight times this week, man. Good lord. Oh, no! Oh, that's so bad. I have to discard them both. Okay, so we have discarded today a, a mid -lom that we need to figure out to use tomorrow. A Ter Stegen, 90. A Busquets, 87. And a Handanovic. And a Lanes. That's all five taken up. We're now officially in trouble, boys. And we're gonna finish with, I stand by my statement of Okay, never mind. We've got one more pack to go. Uh, an 83 plus rated player. Please, God, don't be a dupe. Don't be a dupe. Don't be a dupe. It's not a walkout, so honestly, I don't even care. I mean, an 85 would be great, but okay, whatever. A baby Jesus. And we're going to finish it with, of course, the scam party bag for the first hour. EA fix it. See, see that contains one OTW rule breaker thing here? EA Kool-Aid drinking, boot licking, apologist morons were saying it's perfectly fine for them to false advertise it being a future stars because when you get to the store after you've inputted all your players it tells you that it's not a future stars just they, they have to be 12 year olds right they have to surely they have to be 12 year olds that like back ea in this false advertising uh misleading scamming whatever you want to define it as right loosely define it as an sbc they fixed it now but all the people they baited into doing it, they've just left alone. Nevertheless, it's all good. Doesn't matter. It's just a topic of conversation I think is very important to talk about. EA needs to be checked on stuff like that, boys. Otherwise, they'll keep doing it, right? That's the issue. If we didn't bring up a stink, I bet you anything they wouldn't even have fixed the description about the Future Stars party bag thing. Now, the description, if you go check, if you haven't done it yet, it says contains one OTW, etc. Whereas you saw within the episode, it never said that, right? I digress. I love you. Thank you for watching another episode of the First Owner RTG. I can't wait. I mean, we're just finishing the episode and I can't wait for tomorrow. I'm going to put a heavy grind in tonight. Uh, instead of doing more 81 plus player picks and uh, 81 plus packs, we're going to do this. We're going to go through as many league SBCs as we can again tonight, okay? Uh, any off league that I have five or more players from, we're going to complete in terms of the team. Any main leagues that we have, like a good eight or nine of them or five or six or seven of them, we're going to complete as well in preparation for the... Um, uh, the icons and the moments and all that stuff, hopefully releasing tomorrow with icon swap. So it's going to be a big day tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. As always, will we even get a future star here? At this point, I'm kind of hoping we don't. It's a walkout. What the hell? Is I don't even know what this is. What is this? I mean, 
he does get upgraded. This is the road to the final Draxler. Slight W here because they won their first game, which means he gets a he gets an upgrade, right? German player, not bad. I don't think he even makes our league as squad. He's kind of a trash player, I gotta be honest. But if PSG go deep, that's not bad for a German squad, really. He should be an 86, right? First owner, he's useful. I think for any other account, if you're expecting something good, I wouldn't blame you guys for thinking that was an L. Nevertheless, I love you all, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.